What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Today we're going to go over the update for the test server this week. Remember, global lab test server updates usually take one to two weeks to appear on our live servers, assuming there are no delays and changes. Now first up, we have the Dragonese outfit finally available for crafting in-game. This is a shy outfit that was data mined before shy even came out. So it's been a while and uh, finally it's going to be tied with a new quest line you need to complete to get the design to be able to craft that outfit. So that's good for Shy's. Dragon scale fossil drop rate has increased across the board in all dragon spots and NPCs with whom you can exchange that item for fail stacks have been added in all major cities. Now in Korea they received a notice that they're going to be getting a revamped fail stacking system. We should also get this of course that allows you to convert black stones into fail stacks. We technically do that by fail stacking but now you can do it straight by giving enough black stones to get the fail stack you want we hopefully will get this next week and we can test it out black stones will also begin to drop more in other spots in the game and afwaru the treasure goblin that spawns will now have less hp on seasons and a chance to drop that guaranteed pen item for season gear as well so that's really nice he also can now spawn in group spots i didn't even know he couldn't spawn there but now he can spawn in those bassy uh, schultz and Waragon spots on season servers as well. Blacksmiths also have the ability to cleanse gear just like priests do. That's a huge quality of life change for Veli Enhancers. And there's also this weird new island with a quest line that's been added. Uh, no idea what that's about since they don't really go into it too much, but uh, there is some sort of like pirate Creo stuff. Uh, so maybe it has to do with Corsair Awakening. Nuver's Tyrant Hill Zone, so the spot where you go to kill Nuver and Bloodstorm Nuver. If you die inside of it, you can now respawn nearby instead of the really southern node. Hopefully making people with alts be more okay with YOLOing some damage, dying, and then coming back and repeating it to do all over again. That's a good change. It's been a long time coming. If you disconnect during a world boss, you now have saved damage progress on your boss. If you reconnect before it dies, I'm surprised, honestly, that this wasn't a thing already in implemented for since the beginning of the game it's really important we know how often uh, disconnects happen with world bosses even after world bosses like Garmouth and Vel that's still an issue so hopefully they can deal with that as well command together or CTG can now be used by advisors which is a huge change uh, the battle CTG which is a separate CTG that cannot be used normally but only in node wars that is now also used by advisors as well if your GM is not on the same war channel so that's a big help there as well you can now search for items in your inventory and storage. This is an update that we thought was added maybe a year ago, but ended up being a kind of useless addition. Uh, however, this is indeed what we asked for, the ability to search for our inventory for an item and have that item be highlighted. For players like me who struggle with inventory management, this is a godsend update. We finally have the announced season private servers. One player can access them with up to 14 of his or her friends. You will now be able to grind and life skill without any interaction interruption for 24 hours once you gain access right now it seems that the only way to gain access is by participating on season events and winning the reward of season private server access and finally the biggest update of all full stat reveals for all characters we have a breakdown of buffs passives gear melee evasion evasion rates hit rates a lot of info is now on display if you select the my stats on your gear window this will now also be the stats used for tier one node work caps so keep that in mind it's going to change some things it will also be interesting to see if they've missed something but for now if you take a look at for example berserker and mystic with no gear it looks like mystic has more defensive stats and berserker has more hit rate but those are actually the passes for each class so you got to keep that in mind uh, it will be interesting to see if we find more stuff about classes that we didn't know before nevertheless this is going to be a lot of fun to test with and hopefully it goes live next week for both korea and global servers and that's pretty much it for this one guys let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comments or over on our community discord we're now public and accepting new members so follow that link react to the comment to get your member role and say hello remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when i upload my next video and remember bell is good as always guys thanks again for watching thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one Take care.